Hello guys and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Um, then the last episode, I was showing you guys how to get the Vicky Vance Casino up and running. Um, we had to wait a week, I think it was, for these little guys to show up after we cleared out the town and finished off what we needed to do. And we had to kill these guys. And then I went outside and I think it was about five more days of waiting outside and then when you come back in, Everything's up and running. Um, now, for those of you that did play this game before the DLCs or before one of the updates, I'm not sure when exactly. But like I was saying in one of the earlier episodes, you used to be able to just take any chips that you wanted at this casino and turn them in over and over and over to bank up cash. Um, fortunately, that is patched. So you do have to get money the legit way. Either gambling, killing, robbing, stealing, whatever. You know, whatever you choose to do. I just want to show you guys one quick thing. <clears throat> Don't you think if you were starting your casino back up and opening it back up, you might want to get rid of the uh, dead bodies? Like I would, personally. I mean, I wouldn't just leave dead bodies just chilling. Chilling on the floor. Welcome to Vicky and Vance. Well, I guess, you know what? Maybe it could just be a threat. Welcome to Vicky and Vance. Try to rob us and look what the fuck happens. You end up dead on our floor for everybody in the world to see. I really like how you can shoot off body parts. That's so awesome. Hoping uh, Fallout 4 they really improve the... Uh, what do you want to call it? The gore or the uh, accuracy of... You know, bullet hole wounds and stuff. I mean, I hope it's a little bit more realistic. Um, anyways, so... Yeah, um... So I did the waiting off camera. Um, I went ahead and got 3,000 chips. And... I'm not sure what I ended up with. I did a little bit of gambling. I'm not going to do too much right now. I just wanted to show you guys how to get this up and going again, in case you didn't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn my chips in. In what currency would you like? Um, caps. Caps it is. Will there be anything else? Nope. So I got 4,925. So I won 1,925 caps. Um, this is a lower level casino. Safe. So I'm not sure what the max is to win before you get kicked out. Um, throughout winning though, if you've never really gambled, God, pick up some of the garbage. I know it's the apocalypse, but Jesus Christ. Um, anyways, throughout your gambling and winning process, you do get things. They come up and be like, oh, you're lucky, blah, blah, blah. Here, have this. Here, have this. Like, they used to uh, just give, like, food and drinks and things. But now, I think I got, like, uh, leather armor and things like that from them. So it's kind of cool if that's a new little update I never really noticed. What's up, Prim Slim? What you up to, buddy? Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Did you know that Vance's gun is missing? Just mows you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece of that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Oh, you're stupid. And I don't have the science to get him to understand, so let's just try this. The display case is empty. The gun is missing. Have you gone, local partner? Uh -huh. I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. Can you? That's amazing. What the fuck was that? The gun's still missing. Like yammering on about missing guns, partner. Prim Slim's a busy man. Ain't got time. Okay, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. So, um... If you don't know where this gun is, we will be going and getting it later on in the game. It's not the greatest weapon to have. It's a little... I can't remember exactly. Like I was saying before, there's like one special gun of all the main guns. The original guns. And then now I think there's a special gun for the other ones too. But I was showing you guys. That, but they cost shit tons of money. But for the other guns, mostly you can find them, kill people and get them. You know, this or that. Um, the 9mm machine gun is the Vicky and Vance gun. I think it ups clip size, maybe damage a little bit. You know, I can't remember exactly what it does, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I've been doing some thinking. Sorry, I know I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. 
Um, I did have a day in between my recordings, so I've been doing some thinking. You know, I don't want to just play the game to level up as fast as I can. I kind of want to play it story by story. But it makes it really hard since I kind of know where most stuff is and what most stuff is about. So what I think I'm going to do is... I know I got Boone as my companion right now. I think I'm going to have him go back to the hotel. Oh, when I was gambling too, I did gain a level. So I can... Uh, I'm pretty sure I can repair the robot now and get Eddie working. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then I think I'm going to release Boone. Go ahead and have him go back to the casino and wait for me. And I think I'm going to go get Veronica. And I'm going to start... Because she has, like, no opinion other than... If you don't know who Veronica is, she's a member of the... Never mind. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm just telling you. I'm going to go get a different companion. And then I'll talk more about that when we do it. Because I don't want to just, like, sit here and tell you everything before we do it. So... Um... Repair. Run the repair. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, you're way the hell up on the ceiling. Companion protocol. Begin. Eddie is giving you the enhanced sensor perk. So pretty much what he does, what that means is, I can see things farther away now. Which is a good thing. Alright, <clears throat> so now with Eddie, I can make ammo with him now, which is pretty awesome. And I can make other things like weapons and stuff, which is like kind of what all the junk is for. I usually don't do that kind of stuff, and he still can carry stuff for me. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to log out. I'm going to yip yap with Boone for one second here. Because see, Boone, his main thing... Thing is he just hates the fucking legion and we'll get into that more later because with Boone he's an ex-NCR hates fucking legion I hate the legion too love to kill legion not really ready with all the uh, updated death squads that come after you constantly after you start pissing the legion off so I'm like I said I'm gonna have Boone go back um wait for me let me make sure he doesn't have anything I want. Nope. Okay. Um. I think we should part ways. If that's what you think. I do. Meet up at the Lucky 38. I'll make my way there. Alright, Boone. Go away from me at the Lucky 38. I'll be with you sometime for now. Anyways. Yeah, he hates the Legion. And... So when I do my NCR quests and Legion killing and stuff, Boone is the guy I want. Most definitely. But for now, wait, who's that? Oh, I see angry people. See, that's the beauty of having Eddie with you. He can see uh, bad guys a lot farther away. It's like having a perception up to like 15 or 20 or something like that. I don't know. I mean, that's just my estimate, but... This guy might actually be on the other side of the fence, so... Oh no, he's up there. Hey look, it's a leftover convict. Powder ganger. Fuck face. Let's see. I want to get a sniper rifle. I might. I do know where there's a hidden sniper rifle. It's not the special one. I do know where that is too. But I think you need to have like 100% lock picking to get that one. I think it's called the Desert. The Gobi Desert Sniper Rifle or something like that. Um, but I do know where there's another one where I won't have to pay the money for it. Because sniper rifles are pretty expensive. I don't know exactly how much. But they're pretty damn expensive. So... I think what I'm going to do is go get that sniper rifle, pick up my other companion that I want. Is that guy missing chunks of hair? Oh no, it's just glitching out. Do you not hear me shooting at you, dude? I mean, I don't have a suppressor on here. There we go. Oh, blew his leg off. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, so... I think I'm done with... Let's 
See, another good thing about, I mean, I know I have, whoops. I know I have uh, binoculars right now, but another thing that's nice is having a scope on your gun so you could just use the gun you have out. All right, so come on, come on, Eddie. Let's, uh, let's go make a trip, pick somebody up. What am I doing? There we go. Sometimes I really wonder. So we're going to head out to the 188 trading post. And this is one of my favorite companions. Um, if you play Fallout 3, you may have kind of the same feeling, depending on what kind of character you had. Um, in Fallout 3, they made it kind of hard to dislike the group that this girl belongs to. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Um, well, how about Good Springs? Wow, you have come a long way then. I've never been there. But I've met some traders who passed that way. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Huh. <laughs> you live in a hole in the ground, huh? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So, you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? Know what you mean. And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on a level? For sure. What do you want to know? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my intelligence here and say they're usually harmless unless you advance, use advanced technology around them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Um, I just kind of drift. Just wherever the wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. Um, where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Mm, don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. <laughs> well, so, okay, let's go. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Actually, I'm more comfortable now that I've had... I know you've had some training. As long, How about as long as you're honest with me from now on? Sure. Just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Uh oh Well, Th thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her Alright, so she's got the scribe assistant perk, which also lets you That's assemble right. things. Not such a big deal since I have the robot now. Um, I do want to show you guys something kind of neat that they added into this. I don't know if you've ever come down here and talked to this kid before. He's pretty awesome though. He's Hi. called the Forecaster. Hi mister. I hope you're doing fine today. Where are your parents kid? You all alone? I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. I like to see what you have for sale. Oh, I don't sell things, mister. I sell thoughts. You sell thoughts? I can take up my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. 
I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. Hmm. I'll pay Hunter Caps to hear your thoughts. Great. What do you want me to think about? I can think about you, here, or everywhere. What do you want? Let's start with me. Okay. Let me take off my medicine. Your face does the thinking. Two to the skull. Yet one gets up. Odds are against you. But they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt. But you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack. And a gamble. A gamble that may pay off. But how? Forecast? <laughs> Rapidly changing conditions. Rapidly changing conditions. Things. Most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at me. Sorry if I said anything weird. Um, let's hear another sure. one. Sure. I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? Let's think about here. I need to take off my medicine. Local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down. Washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl. Smiling sad. Brown robe. Name Veronica. Name Veronica? Half here. Grabs her and her heart up like a pack. In the pack. A key, some say. Forecast. Cloudy with the chance of rain. Ouch. So, if you didn't catch that, Veronica. Hey. Veronica! Where'd you go? Bitch! There you are. Hey, Veronica. You got those brown eyes? Oh, yeah, you got those brown eyes, girl. All right. Did you? Um, let's do the last one. The everywhere. Let me take off my medicine. Bull and bear over the dam. At each other's throats. Bull and bear. But a light from Vegas? Ball spinning on the wheel. More than two at the table. Placing bets. Mm hmm All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses. Towns, Towns of corpses. Scattered across the sand. But who's? But who's? And what shares? And what shares? Even the dealer don't know. <laughs> All right, so thinking about everywhere always makes me feel okay. So I'm done with you, buddy, for now. Um, so pretty much, he kind of tells you the future about the game. You know, he doesn't tell you too much, but if you can decipher what he's saying, he kind of lets you know that what may happen, what could happen. Bull and Bear, obviously, NCR and Legion. Um, it's just kind of cool little thing they put in. It's pretty much a way for them to tell you, you know, especially that part, you know, hey, there's so many different outcomes. Don't know how it's going to fall, you know, because, you know, the deck's not stacked. Pretty much telling you that's your choice. You know, whatever you do is going to affect the outcome, which I've already said, by the way. Um... I have been greedy in the times i played this before. I want to have the best outcome story at the end this time, I feel like. So I'm going to try to do everything I feel I would normally do in real life. Because, honestly, I'm a pretty good guy. You know, I stick up for people. I don't believe in bullying. Things like that. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do some selling. And then we're going to start some missions. Oh, wait, no. And I'm going to go get my sniper rifle. I'll take you guys over there, show you a nice little sniper rifle that you could collect in the pretty early parts of the game so you don't have to purchase one. Welcome, sir or madam. Because I'm pretty sure a sniper, let's look at, let's just look and see real quick what a sniper rifle costs or if you can even purchase one yet. Now you can't even purchase one yet, so. Let's see. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all that. 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 Oh, I should... Actually, you know what?
<sighs> Let's see. Selling. No! What did I just sell? I know I just sold my canteen, didn't I? I'm not really sure what the canteen does, but. I don't want to sell it. I do know that. Camera. Duct tape hammers. And that's it, I feel like. Maybe get rid of that. Maybe that for now, that for now. Um, bullets I don't usually like sell because I could take them apart and use them for other bullets. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get... I'm not sure how much money I'm over right now. So, so let's just take a look and see. Combat armor. Man, that's not very, uh... Actually, you know what? Um... I'm gonna go ahead, I know this is gonna be boring for you guys, so I'm just gonna not film this part. But I'm gonna go ahead and go around and sell stuff all over places. I'm gonna try to see how much money I can come up with. And I'm gonna show you guys another little trick if you do have the DLCs. So I'll be back with you guys very shortly. Before I leave the area, I am gonna go ahead and snatch up that uh, sniper rifle. So all you have to do is fast travel or walk to the uh, gun runners place where I was just at. And then you just kind of, which is right over there, and then you just kind of go off in this diagonal direction. This is the Caravan Trading Company, if you don't know. And you just kind of go off to the right past it, and there'll be some buildings over here. I'm going to go ahead and unlock these areas real quick as I'm walking by. So that's the Crimson Caravan, which where Ringo works. Um, this is actually a pretty awesome place. We'll get to this later when you start getting more money. New Vegas Medical Clinic. Pretty awesome place. You could buy enhancements and stuff. So anyways, on this road right here by the medical clinic, you just walk this way. Do, 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 do. Now it's been a while since I've done this, so it might take me a couple tries, but it's right around here somewhere. one of these houses I'm pretty sure it's this one or on the next street over so let's just take a look real quick and I do know that it is booby trap from hell so I'm gonna go nice and slow nice and slow 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 I'm pretty sure it has doors on it though so I don't think this is it actually does this one have doors Does this one have back door doors Doors? Ooh, there it is. I see it. I'm pretty sure that's it right there. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is it right here. So, you want to be careful going into here because, like I said, it is booby trap from hell. Take a nine iron. Locksmith. Um, nice and slow. I see a tripwire there, which I am going to disarm. And then, oh, I can't even get into here yet either. Damn, I suck. I should have known that, I guess. What, out of curiosity, is my lock picking so 75 is hard so I can't even get into there anyways so yeah anyway so in here there's a sniper rifle and a bunch of ammo and other things if you didn't know whoa Veronica where are you going how you doing Veronica alright so I'm gonna go off and go sell my stuff in all sorts of different places so I could get the maximum amount of money because vendors don't have that much money right now and I'll be back with you guys as soon as I'm done with that. This is the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Ringo, how the hell are you, buddy? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. 
You can find her over in the main office. So what's next for you, buddy? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. All right. Later, Ringo. I'll see you around. Don't die, Ringo. I just wanted to uh, go ahead and show you my encounter with Ringo since I'm in the Crimson Caravan. Um, also, I just remembered, if you stand by a merchant and wait, I think it's a day or two, their money refills. So I might just actually do that for now. Um, but anyways, I'll be back with you guys very shortly. Alright, so I'm going to show you one more little trick before... I, you need the DLCs to do this before I move on and start doing a quest for the day. Um, if you just fast travel back to Prim where I started off, um, one of the DLC startings, in fact the last DLC, which by the way I am going to do the DLCs in order when I do them, so because there is letters and things you can find that have to do with the very last DLC. Um, kind of like hypes it up for you but anyways if you just go north of Prim here or west of Prim let's see there's so many scorpions out there I hate being around here um just go to the Great Divide over here this is one of the DLCs that you don't that you can come back from you know all the other ones you pretty much are stuck there until you finish them so you know, you really want to make sure you're actually ready to do them before you do them. But this one, I can show you a nice little uh, cheat. Well, it's not a cheat per se. But it's a way to get pretty decent armor and stuff. Except for I am going to lose... Actually, I don't know. I might lose my companions. That's the only shitty part. And I'll have to go get them again real quick. Um... Anyway, so you just come up to the Divide up here. Because the main quest for the Divide doesn't actually start until you get past this certain spot. Sorry, I know you're just a puppy, but uh, you will attack me and I need to finish you off. Sorry about that. Where are the rest of them? I thought there was more here. So anyways, here's the Canyon Wreckage. Uh, Lonesome Road, name of the DLC, The Divide, Courier 6, which would be me. You can go home, Courier. It's pretty much telling me, man, this is your last chance, but it's not. So, I'm going to go in here. I will have to go pick up my, uh... Okay, so I am going to have to send these guys away. What do you think of Mr. House? Mr. House? Um, let's not talk about that for right now. Why does it... We'll meet at the Lucky 38. Nice. Can I order room service? Of course you can. Anything on me, baby. There you go. I wish you could actually hook up with... You know, you could hook up with prostitutes in this game, but I wish you could actually, like, have companionship hookups with, like, your companions. That'd be pretty awesome. Eddie? Um... Terminate... Um, return to base. Alright, so they're all going to be at the Lucky 38 waiting for me. It does say you should be level 25 or higher. I'm going to walk the Lonesome Road. It might actually tell me about the Lonesome Road. Maybe not yet. You know, because each DLC has like a story that it talks about. So I'm sorry if it does this before we're actually ready to get to it, because like I said, this is the last one. But I don't think it does until you actually get to the next part. Or maybe it does. Yeah, no, I don't think it does until you get to the next part. So, <clears throat> yeah. Do, do, do. So if anyways, if you just follow this, I like the Lonesome Road. It's one of my favorites. Um... It's kind of sad that it's the last one. I usually do it first, honestly, because 
you find this, uh, it's like a bed that you take with you and it makes it so you can sleep anywhere and heal up instantly and rest, get rested instantly. Which usually you don't have to find a normal bed to do that. Anyway, so here's the Hopeville Silo Bunker. You go right on in here. Now, to progress into the DLC, you have to actually do a couple things in here. But, something I don't think they intended people to do, and I figured out, is you can go right over here when you get in here and purchase things that shouldn't be available until you're actually in there. And by the way, this is the only DLC. Sorry if you guys don't know. This is the only DLC you don't get stripped of pretty much everything you have. Um, unlock maintenance door. And if you go right over here into this maintenance room. Can't remember if there's any bad guys in here. No, I don't see any. There's these things right here, they're called commissary terminals. Okay, I can't use it yet, but all I have to do is go up here. Ooh, quartz. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the bot. This is like a special eddy that you get for this uh for this DLC. I don't know why they're all called Eddie. Um Eddie, what are you doing here? The silo must have some pretty advanced engineering facilities to remote scan you and build copies. Yay! Slow down, slow down. What do you mean you're not Eddie, the Eddie I know? I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? All right, Eddie. I'm glad you're with me. Don't get excited there, Doc. Full success on 369248 slash B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Good job, Eddie. You're, you're the hacker of the century. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. Um, let's say, let's just go ahead and do this part. That's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electro electronic security? Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Only panels with a dish receiver. Yay! Was that a voice of your creator? What happened to him? Maybe you'll see him again someday. Yay! Well, I'm sure he's fine. I don't know. How about... Alright, let's keep moving. So, Eddie here can come right on over to this motherfucker. Come on, Eddie. Come on down here, buddy. And unlock it for you. Oh yeah, Eddie. Now, I can access it. Which means... And it has 6,000 selling caps. Which is the most by far out of anything right now. And it has all sorts of good ammo. I'm just going to go fast through it. But the best part, in my opinion... You get a 20 damage threshold right gear armor and helmet for 6,000 bucks pretty much. A little over. Or a breathing mask which is rad resistant for 203 bucks and does 2 damage threshold. And a US Army, US Army combat armor for 3,000 whatever. 18 damage threshold which is pretty damn good. Plus 3 guns plus 2 survival. 
So what I like to do is purchase this, this, and that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then I go ahead and just leave. And now I can come back and sell stuff there because I won't have to unlock it again over and over and over if I want to. Eddie, open the doors for me. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. I'll see you uh, when I'm ready to come back. Have a good time just floating around by yourself. Like I said, I'm not sure they really intended for people to come in here until they're ready to go forward. But then again, all the other ones instantly, like the one says, Hey, are you sure you're ready? Because once you leave, you're not coming back. And the other two, <laughs> kind of just, once you're there, like, fuck you, here you go. Now you're here. Good luck, bitch, you know. So, anyways, that's a little trick I've learned. And... Actually, let's just go ahead and show you guys in case you've never seen it. Now, you have this. And anyways, this actually raises your personality while you're wearing it. And has sneak sight. I don't prefer the sneak sight all that much. See, this is what I look like now. Pretty badass, pretty badass. Um, I don't prefer the sneak sight. Because when you sneak down, everything... Why is it not doing it? Maybe it only works at night. At nighttime, everything turns like white. So it makes it kind of hard to see. But what I do like rocking is the breather. Which, personally, I like. I like the breather. I think it looks pretty badass. And you can wear some hats with it, too. So, yeah. Alright guys, so I'm going to go back, pick up my uh, companions, and then I think I'm going to start some quests. See you guys shortly. Alright guys, so I got my companions back. Um, I made it back to Lucky 38. I know you guys might be yelling at me right now about how I blew all the money I had and how I was telling you money is really important. And you're right, it is really important, but I was going to have to buy Veronica... Some armor. And armor's pretty expensive already. So now, you know, I don't have to buy her armor. I could just give her the armor I had. She'll put that on. Um, and I have better armor, which will pretty much last me throughout the game if I want. And uh, also, if I really wanted money right this second, I could loot the Lucky 38 Casino. Um, I did just go around and grab the Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles, but if I went through and looted everything out of here, I'd probably be able to make another two or three thousand dollars right off the bat. And also, I did want to show you this. Here's the uh, special boxing gloves in the game, the golden gloves. I'm going to go ahead and take those in a Boxing Times magazine. And what they do is they increase uh, knockout damage, which is pretty cool. If you're into uh, using your fists in the game, put those bad boys on. Especially pretty early in the game, and you can just run around knocking out people everywhere. It's good fun. Um, me, personally, I'd rather shoot your ass from a distance than deal with you up close and personal. But, you know, there are other people that like to just strap on gloves and beat the shit out of people. And, you know what, there is actually a couple times in the game when you need to actually knock people out and not kill them, so. <sighs> okay. So now let's get into some quests. Where are you telling me to go? I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I want to go here. And this is where I want to go. Sorry, I wasted a little bit more time today on talking and doing things that I needed to accomplish and I know I said that I was pretty much done with that and this is where are you going where are you going tumbleweed um anyways 
I am done now though, I promise. Um, thing is, just when I play this game, things just come back to me and then I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you know, and I want to do that, and I want to do that. And I, I'm really going to try hard to just stay on the path of what I need to stay on now. So I'm not going to do any extensive quests right now because I am running a little bit long on time. But I am going to do a couple things and then we'll end up this episode and I'll have a good quest set up for the next episode. Um, for now, I'm going to put away the binoculars. See, I could sell those too, but I think I'm actually going to hold on to them. Put away the golden gloves. Well, I don't know, I got 19 of those still. Actually, I think I'm going to put those away for now. And here's a little tip. When you give your uh, followers stuff, don't give them grenades. Because they don't give a shit, dude. And they'll just throw them right next to you and hurt you. They're kind of assholes when it comes to that. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I don't really have enough bullets to be rocking the 10mm sub machine gun right now. So, I'm going to put that away. And I'm going to keep the shoddy, the pistol, the battle rifle, and the grenade. And I'm going to put that away for now. Actually, I only keep my weapons in there. I usually keep my armor in the footlocker. So I'm going to put those away for now. Let's see if it's dark. Yeah, see how the light changes with this helmet? I mean, it's not so bad. It's just a little annoying sometimes. Um, I did collect a lot of the Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles for the uh, caps eventually. Um, I will end up doing a mass opening. Probably when I get to like three or four hundred of them or something like that. Five hundred. I don't know. See how many uh, things I could end up with at one time. Also, I did turn the uh, hardness of the game up. So I'm going to go ahead and give her... stim packs I'm gonna give her 10 stim packs to hold on to so if I can't heal her at the time she can heal herself yeah all right so uh, let's go ahead and actually now this is the town that I usually live at. I store most of my stuff in even though the casino is a lot nicer it just takes more time to get into it because you the closest place you can fast travel to that casino is the uh, place where the robots are guarding it and then you have to go through that checkpoint and then into the casino and then up to your room and then back down your room and then back outside and then you can fast travel again. So in this place you can just fast travel here and then you're there. So I, I only keep my companions there, that's about it. What time of the day is it? 2.38 a.m. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> wait some time real quick <clears throat> and I'm going to go into the McBride house because this is a nice little quest only takes a little bit of time come, come here buddy Dusty. What's up, Dusty? They call you that because you're so dusty? Just kidding. What do you do here? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. I also tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. How's business? You must mean what's left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. We're down to less than half of what we had a few weeks back. What do you know about it? Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. What an asshole. I'll see if I can catch whoever's doing this. Grateful. Especially if you find it before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over. Oh, I won't, buddy. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. 
Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. <laughs> Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for him, get a little popularity. Let me out, Eddie. Move your ass. Okay. I need them away from the damn door. There we go. Companions are nice, but they do get in the way sometimes. And, by the way, the reason I had to give Veronica armor is companions can die in this game. They don't just get knocked out. They can die. So, and I don't want Veronica to die. Because each companion has their own special set of missions, and the friendlier they are with you, you unlock them, you know, so I want to accomplish these missions. So anyways, plus some of them are kind of fun. <sighs> Miscellaneous quests, nightly attacks. So, while it's still daytime, I'm going to go ahead and talk to uh, Manny Vargas. Who was the person I was supposed to talk to when I first came here. Um, I never did it, but he has a pretty cool little quest that he gives you, which I would like. Um, I could just go do it without getting the quest assigned, but then you don't get the uh, quest experience, so. The repair skill allows you to optimize and maintain weapons and apparel. Nice. Even though I already knew that. Thank you. What's going on, man? Not much, man. I'm looking for a man in a checker coat, buddy. Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? Mm, I'm looking for answers. Must be something pretty important to be chasing a guy like that. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. What do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Why don't you deal with it? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. What needs to be done, buddy? Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. All right. It'd mean a lot to me. All right. Come fly with me. I like come fly with me. Um, I'm... I need to check my science. You know, the problem is... Some quests you need certain things to be able to accomplish them, so. And I like to do things in its entirety, so I like to be able to have the option to do a quest the way I want to do it and not just the easiest or fastest way to get it done. What's up, Trader? Hey there, need anything? Maybe. What do you got? I know what I want to do is sell this, uh, where is it? I thought I had, yeah, let's sell this. Uh, I guess that's it. All right, so now I need to let a little bit of time pass and then I could uh, help out Dusty McBride there. With his damn cattle getting shot up at nighttime. What is this guy doing? 
Oh, it's a lady. What are you doing? What are you staring at? Huh. So, Mr. Brahmin, do you know who's killing your friends? Your brothers? Your sisters? No? What about you, buddy? You know what's going on? No? Okay. So now I'm just going to wait till midnight or so and then see what happens. Do you see him? I don't know if you could actually see him on camera here, but he's a nightkin. I'm gonna see what he does. Oh, fuck you, nightkin. I'm not gonna let you kill any more dusty stuff. Damn, I'm bad. Where are you going, buddy? Don't run away. There you go, big dog. That's how you get it done right there. Oh, I was using hollow points? Damn, that was stupid of me. What do you got? Five millimeter rounds, casings, a mini gun, and the screams of Brahmin. So let's go ahead and uh, check this note out. So it's pretty much just telling you that for some reason the guy could hear the Brahmin in his head screaming and that's why he was coming up here to kill them because it couldn't let him sleep. Poor guy. Poor Nightkin. Um, Nightkin were never in Fallout 3 so that is our first introduction to a new species, a new race. Find anything? No one is going to attack your corral from now well, on. I don't know. Take this, compliments of Alice and myself, and help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Goodbye. All right, guys, so I got that part done. Um, I am going to show you another little tricksy, tricksy way. I might have to actually wait till daytime though. So, if you don't want to accomplish the uh, Manny Vargas mission for him to get the info, there's another way to get the info so you could accomplish all the little tasks on the way to New Vegas without just going straight to New Vegas. So, because you can go straight to New Vegas like I did and skip all the in-between. But there is one more thing you can do besides that. You can uh, creep on into his room here. Activate his terminal. Message, con hospitality. You made the right choice putting us up and keeping it quiet. This weasel Benny... This weasel Benny's been twitchy since we stole the package 
from his boss. Making me nervous as hell. But when I found out we'd be passing through on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. So anyways, now you know Boulder City was their next route that they were taking. And since I already have the uh, other mission, it doesn't make it go away. And I'll still get the experience for that, which is nice because you might as well get mission experience while you're uh, getting other experience. So I'm going to go ahead and do this last little part. And then I think that will uh, end the episode for me because we are running a little long. I haven't been there yet, so I'm going to go to the closest place, which is the 188. Sorry there, my computer's making noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but somebody's beating some music outside. It's very hot today, I have to have the window open. Sorry if you guys could hear outside noises. Alright, so Boulder City's right over here from the 88. Just going to go ahead and cruise right on over here get this last little part done and then everything on the main mission from here on will be where we're at because this was I think the last stop you needed to find out um, and now that the come fly with me the quest you get from Manny um, is actually now its own quest so uh, yeah you'll see when we do it if you haven't played it before So here's Boulder City. Rangers, give them hell. Visit Hoover Dam today. I wish he did a... Somebody attacking me? No. Usually that music means somebody's coming to kick your ass, but apparently not right now. So, I don't know, if you play this game, you've ran into Casadors. Dude, I freaking hate them. Those are the only things that really kill me in this damn game. What is going on? Is somebody coming to kill me right now? No? Okay. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the great cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were called in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have private Ackerman and private Gilbert as hostages. Um, I may be able to negotiate a deal with the great cons. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. All right. Going to give you a chance to talk to the great cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in, but it'll probably be too late for you. <laughs> All right, I understand, buddy. Good luck. Thank you, more, or Monroe. So. I think I'm going to try to talk to them and end it that way instead of just killing them. Because I'm going to do the game a way I've never done it before. And I'm not sure if the great cons are needed later on or not. And I don't want to start with a stressed relationship. So I'm just going to kind of uh, walk right up to these guys and be like, what up? How's life? I know you're with Benny when you shot me in the damn head, motherfucker. But that's okay. Supposed to be, but I'm not. Yeah, uh, about that. 
Where is the platinum chip, sir? Don't have it. Then he stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. Let's talk about settling things between you and the NCR. Let's negotiate. The NCR backs off. We walk out of here. Nobody gets hurt. Free the hostages now, and I'll have the NCR escort you out of their territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Oh, for sure. Don't even worry about that. Goodbye, buddy. Yeah, go on. I would ask him for answers, but he probably doesn't have any for me, so... I'm just going to move on, since, like I said, my episode is running a little long. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Welcome to level 8, sir. Uh, you know what I wish they had? I wish they had, like, uh, little stories with your... Anybody ever played uh, Oblivion? I really love those little stories in between levels up. Oh, you know, your hard work has paid off and tasks are just seeming easier and easier. You know, blah, 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 whatever. I like those little stories and I wish, you know, since this is the same makers of the Elder Scrolls series, I wish they would have had these, those, you know, I like those little stories. Anyways, food, food for thought. I'm going to go ahead and bump up my lock picking. I don't know about that much though. Medicine. Um, how about barter? And let's see. Let's pick something besides... Besides uh, intense training this time. I haven't picked anything else yet. Um, I'm not going to read them all to you, but I'll read what I do pick. Some of you may know what they are, don't even need any explanation. You can just look at the name and know exactly what it is. I might take that one or that one. And by the way, these unlock not only just uh, by level, but they have requirements too, like uh, strengths, endurances. You have to have a certain amount of things. So that's why it's kind of important to uh, raise all your main attributes also. I think I'm going to pick toughness for now, which gives me a uh, plus three to overall damage threshold. And you could take it more than once, which is a good thing. So I think that's what I'm going to take right now. Because the less damage you take, the better. All right. Did they let the hostages go? Oh, yeah, there we go. What's up, Private Gilbert? How's life? Feel better now that I got you freed? I, I can't catch the other guy, so I don't know his name. So, um, I was also thinking, if you like this one, I was also thinking about maybe doing another series on um, one of my favorite games of all time. I don't have the original anymore, which is sad because the original is one of the best games, in my opinion, of them. And I'm about to say a very bold statement right now. Besides Fallout and the CODs and the Elder Scrolls, it is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, those may... Certain people out there may not agree with this, um, but it is, you know, to each his own. Everybody has their own opinion about what they like, what they enjoy. Um, yeah, anyways, it is, uh, I do have the second and the last one. Um, I would kind of like, sorry, I'm up looking at something right now. A little bit of input. Maybe you guys tell me what you guys think. 
but it is the Bioshock series. I do have Bioshock 2 and 3. Um, so yeah, you know, and I think that would be a really fun game to do as a Let's Play. Um, and it's a really awesome, exciting game. So yeah, just let me know. Give me some... Uh, What is that red dot? Let's go ahead and talk to this guy real quick. Able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the great cons. Hostages are not. Um, the great cons let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders. Can I? Yes. If you have any integrity, then you're on with the deal. You're right. The great cons are free to go. Thank you. So, folks at the NCR are accepting me for my health for nature and the great cons. Good deal, good deal. Alright, so it's got another big ass experience bump there, 360, which is pretty good stuff. What was your name? Ackerman? You're a girl too. I wonder if we'll see you guys later. I can't remember. <sighs> um, anyway, so let me know what you think about the Bioshock series. I wish I had the first one so I could play all three of them. I don't specifically like the third one all that much. Um, but the first and the second, I think, are some of my favorite games of all time. So, let me know what you think. If you've never seen them or played them, trust me, it's something you want to play and see. So, you know, like I said, just let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um... And I hope you guys are enjoying this. I've noticed I've been getting quite a few views for it, so... Hope you guys... You can't shoot the birds, by the way. One experience. Bam! One experience. Bam! Bam! You just die, you son of a bitch. There we go. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, like I said. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I know... A little bit... Fact-finding kind of telling you a lot of stuff but like I said from here on out it's going to be pretty much strictly just playing the game mission by mission area by area kicking ass taking names leaving dead bodies up and down the freeway um so yeah thank you guys uh thank you for watching thank you for spending the time with me um I really do appreciate it and I really appreciate everybody that's been subbing to me and watching my videos and if you could for me, go ahead and hit that like button down there at the bottom. And if you're a new viewer, please subscribe. And can't wait to see you guys in the future. Thank you guys.